Okay guys, today we are going to be talking about the Biggie aka Marmot Coat. In the 80s the Marmot Coat was introduced as a base camp coat, but would later be popularized in New York City decades later, which included East Harlem, the Bronx, Brooklyn, and Queens. Fast forward to the early 2010s the Biggie was a very popular coat that the youth wore as a status symbol. The reason the coat is called a Biggie is because of the baggy and oversized look it had. At the time, many kids would be seen in this really big coat, which had a variety of bright colors. The reason that these coats were seen as a status symbol was because they retailed at around $630 at the time. It being priced that high would evidently cause other kids to become jealous and envious. It's been said that in the reviews of the coat online, there were people warning potential buyers that if you lived in New York City, you shouldn't buy it because you would be at high risk of getting robbed. Unfortunately, these people weren't lying. In 2011, Bronx, New York. Four men tried to rob an 18-year-old by the name Malik Jenkins for his biggie coat, which he refused. Malik and his friend was lured into the Justice Sonia Sotomayor houses by a 15 and 17-year-old girl. Once there, four men approached them and Malik's friend's $150 true religion jacket was stolen. They attempted to take Malik's $600 coat, but Malik ran off crossing the Bruckner Boulevard, where he was struck by two vehicles, a Toyota Prius, and a BMW, killing him. At the time of the murder, his mother stated, it's horrible that any mother should have to go through what I'm going through for a piece of material. I hope the suspects get exactly what they deserve and justice prevails. According to Malik's parents, he enjoyed writing poetry and wanted to go to college to study engineering. One of the mothers of the four men apologized and said, I wish I could bring his life back. This isn't the only violent situation that stemmed from this expensive coat at the time. In 2013, a 16-year-old male shot two people at Bryant Park's ice rink located in Midtown Manhattan over a biggie coat. The 16-year-old Bronx teen attempted to steal the coat of a 20-year-old named Javier Contrera but that he refused. This led to the 16-year-old leaving and coming back an hour later firing around eight shots towards Javier hitting him in his arm. Luckily Javier didn't face any life-threatening wounds and was safely cared for after the shooting. Unfortunately, due to multiple reckless shots, another person, 14-year-old named Adonis Mera, was also shot. Adonis was shot in the back by a stray bullet paralyzing him from the waist down. After the shooting, the 16-year-old posted about the shooting on Facebook. Even when the police arrived to his home, he posted feds at my door, I'm going out with a bang. Among many other comments, the shooter would later be arrested and tried as an adult facing charges including attempted murder, criminal possession of a weapon, assault, and reckless endangerment. After many other shootings related to this coat, the Marmot Decay of Biggie coat would officially be removed from shelves and stores in 2013. As of recent years, many people celebrate the Biggie Day where many people that grew up in the era come together to celebrate the legacy of the coat outside of the violence. Alright, basically Biggie Day is this coat right here. This coat is called the Marmot Mammoth. All of us love wearing Marmot Mammoths, but we call them Biggies. We out here wearing piggies. We out here on 40 Deuce with the piggies on your head on Thanksgiving. We gonna eat good later today. Everybody, please take pictures of us. Y'all can ask us what we're doing. We gonna let you know. We got a hashtag. We got an Instagram. We got all of that. After many years, the love the once youth had for the coat never left. Today, the Marmot Coat can now be seen in stores again for the community to purchase. If you like this video, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also comment what other videos you would like to see. Until next time.